What's up, everyone? Mark Lobliner here, talking about GLP-1s. So, Ozempic, Terzepatide, Redditrutide. At the end of the day, man, I'm not here to say that these things are bad. I'm not here to say that they're good. I'm here to say that they're here to stay. Bottom line, they're not going anywhere. Why? Remember that whole fat acceptance thing, right? Like, oh, we need to be proud to be fat. Now, even Lizzo is getting lean. Why? It wasn't about losing weight. They weren't mad at people not being fat. They were mad that, well, it took a lot of work to be lean. And what these drugs do is they make it easier for you to do what it takes to lose weight. And what is that? Eat less. Took down the cravings. Took down the appetite. And we are not mad at that. I am not mad at that, personally. I think it's kind of awesome. There's also some tremendous effects on blood sugar control, on lipid profiles. I've seen some great blood work out there. So I am not mad at all. But the problem with these drugs is that they're powerful. They are powerful tools. But what ha what's happening is people are using this, but they're not keeping their muscle, right? So they are losing their muscle. So their metabolic health, their strength, their long-term outcomes are all compromised. So fat loss without muscle preservation is not success. You're just becoming smaller and weaker. You're going to look like a big, loose bag of skin. It's just nasty. It's just nasty. So let's go over what each of these drugs do first. And then, of course, your doctor, whoever your advisor is, can tell you which one is the best for you. So what is GLP-1? Well, it's glucagon-like peptide 1. Your hormone already produces um, this hormone, and it slows gastric emptying increases satiety, which is you're not, not feeling hungry, basically, and reduces your appetite. <clears throat> what this does, it amplifies that signal. So that's why you eat less. Your metabolism doesn't go up. It doesn't make you burn more calories, but your hunger is suppressed. You're essentially starving. So when you do eat, you need to make sure you eat the right things. So when calories drop too fast, which happens, you go from appetite to, I just don't want to eat. So then protein intake will drop with your calories. Your body won't just burn fat. It'll burn muscle and your body's just trying to survive. And honestly, like muscle is for survival, less important than fat. Fat is stored energy where muscle is metabolically, well, taxing. So meaning that if you're really starving, then it's going to get rid of muscle first. So what is Ozepic? It's a simple GLP-1 receptor agonist. It just suppresses appetite and slows digestion. Um, but the thing is with studies, real world data, data, it significantly, sh it shows a significant portion of weight loss on a semi-glutide comes from lean mass if no countermeasures are in place. Um, in plain terms, people eat less. And by eating less, they're going to move less, they lift less, and they're losing pretty much mostly muscle. Ozempic does not protect muscle. That's something you need to do yourself. I put these in order. Next up is terzepatide. So this is a GLP-1, and it also targets the GIP receptors. So this is why it, creates, it produces greater fat loss than just ozempic. The upside is more fat loss potential. The downside is the same as the risk that we talked about before, just magnified. Because appetite suppression is stronger, the risk of undereating protein and skipping resistance training goes up. Because the less calories, the less motivated you are to work. This means lean mass goes up unless you are deliberate. Lean mass loss goes up. So terzepatide is more powerful than ozempic. Retitrutide is the future. Okay, that targets GLP-1, GIP, and glucagon. Triple action increases energy expenditure on top of appetite suppression. So not only are you suppressing appetite, you're burning more calories. Dramatic fat loss. Bottom line is, hey, this is going to amplify the muscle wasting even more because you're burning more calories and you're not training as much and you're taking in less calories. So the biggest mistake 
is that people think eating less automatically means better results. But if you lose muscle, your metabolic rate drops, your strength drops, your insulin sensitivity worsens over time. And when you come off the drug, fat regain becomes easier. That's not a win. That is a temporary illusion. So you want GLP-1s to work in your favor, and that's non-negotiables. So there's two things that are equally important in keeping muscle when on GLP-1s. One is high protein. How much protein? 0.7 to 1 grams of protein per pound of gold body weight, adjusted based on tolerance and total calories. I'm going to take that even further per pound of body weight. So if I weigh 300 pounds, my goal is to weigh 100 pounds, I'm not going to eat 100 grams of protein. Why do I want to set my protein that high? Because after you eat 300 grams of protein, if you get to that, you won't have time to binge out on Funyuns or Twinkies. So set your protein to a gram per actual pound. What if I weigh 600 pounds? Go for 600 grams. Oh, I can't do that. Exactly. You're on a protein sparing modified fast then. You're going to keep muscle. You're going to lose fat. Good for you. So if you're not hitting your protein, you're going to lose muscle. What kind of protein do I recommend? Well, there are options for weighing stuff. One option is ambrosia planta. So if you're like me, too much. I can drink whey. I can drink all kinds of whey. But you get into that 100 plus grams of protein from dairy. Yeah, you're going to have some explosive trips to the bathroom, which is where Ambrosia Planta comes in dairy free, lactose free, um, amino acid profile like that of a, a milk based protein. Just fantastic. Fantastic. So Ambrosia Planta is there. I'm going to link it down below. Um, and Planta is a complete plant protein. Excellent amino acid profile. We add in the two to one to one BCAA, leucine amino, leucine valine. Ha easy digestion and no heaviness. You get your protein in with that. Fantastic protein source, Ambrosia Planta. Resistance training at least three times a week. So muscle is maintained through mechanical tension. Okay. Period. You need to lift. If you're not lifting weights, you have no reason to keep muscle during a caloric deficit. Three sessions a week is what you need. That's minimum. I'd like to see four to five. Full or upper body, uh, full body, upper, lower splits. Those work well. Push, pull legs. Those work well. Focus on compound lifts, progressive tension, and controlled volume. So you don't need marathon workouts. You just need to stimulate. Um, five to 10 sets per body part per week. You're good to go. When I say sets, I mean, those are the ones that are hard. Those are the one you're pushing to failure. So resistance training tells your body, I need to keep this muscle because I might need to use it. So work that out, get the signal. So, um, as far as protein, you know, just get it in, just get it in, you know, during the day, I don't care when you get your gram of protein per pound. But, you know, you can have it around meals. You can have it between meals. You can have it pre and post training. Just get it in. Just get in a gram per pound. I don't care when you drink it. You won't be able to drink it all at once because you're on a GLP. But just get it in, maybe 20 grams, you know, um, 40 grams five times a day if you weigh 200 pounds. That's five shakes a day. Delicious. So here's the deal. I'm not anti-GLP-1. I'm anti-stupidity. If you use these drugs without structure, you'll get small and soft and saggy and nasty. Nobody wants that. Like you're just going to have skin on bone and fat. It's just nasty. So if you use them intelligently, they are awesome. You can lose fat while maintaining muscle and metabolic health. So that requires protein discipline. It requires resistance training. It requires acknowledging that appetite suppression does not equal nutritional sufficiency. Fat loss is easy. Preserving muscle takes effort. Do it right or don't do it at all. Guys, hopefully this helps you. Be sure to go to tigerfitness.com. That's tigerfitness.com. Coupon code MAHA, M-A-H-A, -A, MAHA, saves tempers off the entire site, including that there Ambrosia Planta. And of course, be sure to like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Click on that notification bell and remember, losing weight and keeping your muscle too, that's not a game.